Hi and welcome back. So we're continuing pretty much where we left off the last video on the recovery vehicles and I'm going to start the detailed painting so going to be getting into all these wheels and adding some blacks in places and more chromes uh, these railings on the trucks uh, probably going to have to varnish first before we do the black around the red on the fireflies because I should be able to do it with a panel wash and capillary, capillary it around um, but just lots of detail painting so I'll probably get a load of the painting done before we have another look now so time to get tracking with my uh, neutral grey right so we've started to get um, some more paint down as you can see for the magnetic tow trucks I've painted into these the ends of them orange and black kept that as a silver so they're ready to go on these are also part of the magnetic tow trucks and I've painted just a little bit of orange in they go into here these are pretty much ready to glue together and uh, get some washes and varnish on and um, we've got inside the tracks the wheels in orange which is correct for these we've painted up the window with its yellow frame so they're ready um, on the fire truck and the transmitter truck which are the same pretty much just different colours still got the windows to do but we've done the railings in neutral grey and in the wheels we've used neutral grey as well um, so the reason I've used the neutral grey instead of a metallic is these are working vehicles they're not their uh, sports cars they're not chromed up and shiny same with the elevator trucks I've gone in with the neutral grey bit of silver to go in these and they're ready to go together and um, the fireflies I've painted in the windows now need to touch up a bit with yellow around the edges same wheels so now apart from these windows I'm ready to put some clear coat down so I can start weathering these up and get some washes in as well going to do some panel line panel lines on them some washes but we'll get these windows done get the clear coat down probably pretty much assemble the magnetic trucks and we shall have another look at things okay so we've got our clear coat down on everything um i did some more detail into these wheels so we've got the is it the hubs you call them got the windows painted on the trucks and um, we've cleaned up these um We've got all the magnetic tow pipes painted. All, all this is clear coated. So next, I'm going to get some pin washes in. All over the place. Or panel line, should I say. To bring out some detail. And we've got uh, some decals to put down. And then another clear coat before we... Add some washes and then another clear coat and the vehicles will be done. So I'm going to get the panel line on, decals in place and we'll have another look at how we get it done. Right, so we've got panel wash done or panel lines done so you can see that these bits at the back especially. 
Um, we've got our decals in place. Lovely, nice, tiny little decals. Same on these elevator cars. Some really small decals to put in place. <laughs> but we have... Hold on, do we get in focus? Our master elevator car, which is number one. Also has a different... Front to the others, Oops, still need to put a little bit of black paint on the front there, for the window. Then obviously the others are the, we get focus, are the radio controlled elevator cars, two to four. Um, these are looking a lot better with some washes on them. The mole's looking a lot better. Got our decals on the trucks as well. And um, so I need to give this all another clear coat now. Then we're going to get some washes over the top of these elevator cars, uh, some washes into especially the corkscrew at the front of the mole. Um, bit of washes just over these trucks, nothing too heavy. Same with the magnetic cars, nothing too heavy, but a bit of a wash over them. And then they'll need another clear coat and we'll get the rest of these little bits all in place. And have a look at the finished fleet of rescue vehicles. So we'll have another look in a little while. Right, so we've got all 11 of our rescue vehicles finished. Um, I need some more weathering to them. Put a, a matte clear coat over the top. Everything's connected now, so we've got the shovels on the front of the fireflies. The hoses in the cage at the back of the fireflies. Uh, the magnetic suction parts for the magnetic tow trucks. Um, the one going forwards, the command one, one with the antennas backwards is the remote. Um, the dirt on the mole has made it look a lot more like how the mole should look. And we've got rid of that shininess of the screw on the front. Um, we've got the window painted now on the front of the control elevator car on the master elevator car and now we've got a mac coat it's taken that shine off the gun metal which is what i wanted um, these are all looking good now really happy with how all these have come out got our trucks finished We added some we a bit more weathering into them, but with the clear the matte clear coat, these are all done now. Um, so next, I think I'm going to be starting on all the internal parts for Thunderbird Two, because obviously we need a vehicle to carry these to rescues. Um, I will put a link in the description. Oh, a link at the end for a video on how I do panel washes, panel line, make your own panel line. And a link to a video of how to make a wash yourself. But I'm really happy with how these have all come out. Especially for the scale where, what, the biggest one's four centimetres long. And three centimetres long is the smallest with a lot of parts to them. Um, so I'm really happy with how this is coming. Uh, thank you for watching this time. Keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you. Goodbye.